inline hockey is an absolutely fantastic sport because it is out of the ordinary. It's fast. It, it requires a great degree of skill uh, to play at the high level. Um, it is an international sport. Um, we have teams in sub-Saharan Africa all the way up to Finland and Norway up in the north. It is played everywhere. I've been playing in a hockey since I was about four. I got, sort of got into it through my dad who was a professional ice hockey player. Um, you know, and watching my dad play, even though it was at the end of his career, um, you know, really got me infused into ice hockey. And then obviously I made the natural progression down to in or across the inline. Sorry, I'd say I get my inspiration um, from a few different people that, that got me into hockey. Really, uh, one was probably my brother who first got me into it. Um, he started playing a little bit before me uh, for my local team, Booth Town Bulls, and we had a coach there, uh, a guy called Mike Johnson, was the first person who taught me a few things about hockey. Um, then I like, moved on from there into a different team, Walkden Cobras it was called. Uh, spent a few years there, there's a guy called Steve Hurst who kind of mentored us for a little bit, myself and Carl really. So our team yeah, is, is, really, is real family, you know, we've got a real friendly, you know, fun sort of environment in our team. We've sort of grown up together ever since sort of five, six year old, the core of our players all sort of started playing together, um, you know, locally in Southampton and then we've sort of grown up together. We've picked up guys along the road that have sort of, we've played with for years and then sort of seen our fa family sort of team and wanted to be a part of it really. My motivation and inspiration comes very much from the ice hockey world. Um, I started off as an ice hockey player back in Finland and that sport as the big brother of inline hockey is far more organized, far more professional and that's something that I'm trying to aspire to and reach the same level of professionalism and hopefully that will then um, allow us to um, uh, reach exposure in the media and also gain sponsors. But the sport in the UK to, to drive it forward from here, I think it definitely needs more funding, uh, government funding, uh, to get the kids in off the streets really. I think kids really love playing roller hockey and uh, even just skating is a, is a good start just to get kids on skates but we know it's, uh, it's expensive um, and there isn't a lot of spare pair of skates you know, around there just for a kid to throw on his feet and a lot of people, a lot of parents and families don't have the extra money. Yeah, my, my sort of advice to any sort of player that's into the game is don't give up. I was always told, you know, keep at it, keep training hard um, and making sure that you're dedicated and committed. Um, sometimes it doesn't come naturally to a player. You know, hockey, it's very hard to pick up. You've got the skating as well as the skills. Um, you know, working on little bits at a time is always good. Um, don't get downhearted, you know, there's a, there's a big mixed ability in, in the UK of, of hockey and it's finding the right sort of um, level for yourself and then to be able to, you know, move on, um, you know, big mix, finding the right place and keeping, sticking at it. In like 99, it was like the biggest thing to hit the country, I thought, roller hockey. It kind of got off too big, it got like a bit too big for its boots and then... Um, Everyone was playing it, and all of a sudden you've seen it, it just die down. I think, um, I'd say, after like 2003, 2004. Yeah, I agree. And then, like, uh, it's just not been enough recognition of what people have been achieving. Like, you've got, again, Phil here, uh, you've got Nathan Finney. They won gold medals um, against Team USA in 2008. And not enough recognition for that kind of talent, you know. That, that, that's a great achievement in my eyes. And then, uh, again, in the senior level, we got promoted to Pool A, and... Um, it's just not enough recognition for the sport, really, because we are achieving good things with our own money. We're putting our own money into the sport. There's a number of challenges um, from my own uh, professional perspective. The, uh, uh, the marketing of the sport um, has uh, struggled um, in terms of uh, gaining visibility and, and gaining exposure, particularly um, in the, uh, the, the mainstream media. Um, but uh, also in local local newspapers and online media. MLRH at Europe will um, help the whole sort of UK achieve more. I mean, at the moment, a lot of the top teams in the country in the UK seem to be playing each other on over again. There's no progression. You know, it's the same guys against each other. Yes, there'll be sort of different results in, in different games, but we, you know, we're never going to learn more from you know the foreign countries, the European teams, teams from USA. I know a lot of guys, you know, pay a lot of money to go out and you know abroad across to the USA to play. Um, but we always seem to go with you know, bits of a team because of funding and things. The work that uh, Major League Roller Hockey is doing uh, for the inline, sport of inline hockey in Europe 
um, I, I see it as, an, as a key for progress. Uh, and this is because Major League Roller Hockey in itself is already an established brand. It is well known in the United States and Canada uh, and players in Europe see Major League Roller Hockey as the pinnacle of the sport. Myself personally, I've just started a little family, I've got a 10 month old daughter, um, but it's still finding the time and, and having the passion to want to play um, and sort of working that round, you know, the hockey, but we just need as many guys as possible, being as passionate and dedicated, um, and also sort of trying to come under one banner and all try and push in the same direction. We have a lot of things in the UK that pull people apart, we need everyone going in the sort of same, same way, everyone following the same sort of ethos and wanting to achieve the same things.